Hello everybody, Northern Hero here. I have been trying to upload Album of the Year. Well, I did actually upload it, but there were no sound. I do apologise to anybody who were, you know, looking forward watching all of that with the audio and found out that there were no audio on. Um, YouTube told me that it was three artists and I had to delete three music videos on that file um, like clips because um, of copyright infringement which was fine now when I uploaded it the first time it took a whopping 12 hours to upload I had to keep the laptop on all day and and then I mean, I've never had any problems before, you know, usually they've said, oh, you've used such and such music, we'll have to have, we'll have to put some adverts on, which was fine. And then it said, because I'm really promoting the best music, I've done it before, and I've been on, and I can upload videos over 15 minutes now. So that's fantastic. Um, but um, I looked at it the next day and it said, cannot play the audio because of three artists, you know, and basically I'll have to either delete the video or delete the three little clips in that video. Um, and one of the bands was Cats on Trees, you know, fantastic album, non non Christian. And then there was a King, were it King's Kaleidoscope, I think, Christian worship album, and that was fa absolutely fantastic. But um, same thing. And then there was another album, and all which I can't remember at the moment. But um, I deleted them, and then. It had to save, obviously, through YouTube. And then it was still the same. It was still muted. Everything was muted. But YouTube did say, if you take these off, then we'll undo the mute. So, I'm not exactly sure what's going off. Um, I may do it again, but it's a lot of time to upload. If I'm... I'm, I might upload it, but just delete the three video clips from the file. This this will mean that I'll have to go on to Windows Movie Maker and put all my clips together. And then um, uh, edit, even, edit it even more through a program so the file is compressed so it uploads quicker, even though that the other file still took 12 hours. Alright, it's a 41 minute video, but it's ridiculous, I'm not exactly sure why um, it takes so long to upload. So, I was a bit stressed the other day with that, um, being stressed in, gen in general, um, to be honest, um, and last month I had shingles. Which I really felt as though that I pulled a muscle or something, and I had this like pain for about a week and a half, and then after that, got all like spots um, that was spreading. So that's nearly gone. Um, so thank you, God, that that has nearly gone. It made me weak, to be honest. And then when I were on medication, I really felt as though my skin were burning, like a burning sensation. And sometimes in life, we are all human. We all go through these things. Um, even Christians. Um, but God has got mighty things, and I think. 
next year, God, God has got amazing plan for me. Um, again, I don't exactly know what it is. Um, I mean, it could be anything. But um, the job what I'm at is coming. I haven't got much time left. I believe. Maybe, maybe another year or so, about a year. Um, so I felt it in my spirit, and God has been really good this year. Been telling me people to be aware of and and stuff. Um, you know, you know, on my um, YouTube channel, when I first. Um, brought it out um, about 2006 end of 2006 I think maybe or end of yeah that sounds about right or about end of 2006 I think um, there were a few people what I, that I mentioned it to you know Christians but um I'm not sure if they liked it. I had testimonies on there with the wrestlers. Wasn't really much of me back then on my when I first brought it up. Um told a couple of people at church, you know, got this video, but now shortly after that I was I had the strong impression that certain people didn't like what we're doing or maybe they were against it. I always remember a few people pointing, laughing, and uh, may, uh, on an, another occasion, you know, um, uh, looking, you know, pointing, and as though they were talking about it. And I thought I shouldn't have opened my big mouth, to be honest. But then that channel closed, and then I've got another one. Um, I'm not saying that. Certain people, oh, or may have mentioned it to, were still followers. I'm not sure. To be honest, it was a long time ago, so I'm guessing that a lot of people will have forgot about it. I'm not saying no. The Nero Zero Ninety Nine is going to stay in for a long time. This one may close as well. This one may get terminated. Or uh, something to do with copyright. I've had two strikes, remember. So there's only one more. And then this will be off. If it is, I'll have a brand new channel. And maybe call it something else. I'm not sure. But um, I've just been to sleep, actually. Had about four or five hours sleep. I was really tired. You know sometimes when you get a dream and then you wake up and then it just plays on your mind all the time. I can't actually stop thinking about this dream. No, it wasn't godly. And I'm not saying it was evil. You know, it wasn't dodgy. But God knows what it is. And I know what it is myself, obviously. So that's God right now to clear any thoughts from my mind out of my brain Lord God clear that dream out of me in Jesus mighty name I pray I do not, I do not want it to linger Amen because dreams I used to get really good dreams actually, but lately I've been getting negative dreams, um, not scary dreams, but dreams which are basically crap, and when I wake up, I've been playing on my mind for hours on end, I just pray to God, I mean I've prayed to God before about dreams, godly dreams, 
and I want I want some more godly dreams, Lord. I believe sometimes that the enemy knows that you're on a planet, you're a miracle, and he's going to try and take you off that path. Do you know what I mean? And it's a battle sometimes. Now. I've mentioned something before, you know, about a woman. God's got a woman for me. I just know it. But, um, don't know. don't think it's the right time yet. And my dad had a vision that I would meet a Christian girl. Didn't actually say when or whatever. But, um, I believe it's soon. Now, that has cancelled all the opportunities, all the non-Christian women who might like me, I don't know, or I might like them. And I think sometimes um, there's a danger because there's some really nice women out there, you know, really good looking and that, um, beautiful looking. And sometimes they make themselves look beautiful to get attention so you look you look at him and think wow but really underneath that skin underneath that spirit um well their spirit I mean they might not be Christians you know they just might want men fancying them all the time I'm sticking to this that I will know 100% who my future wife will be and nobody can stop that however it may It may have to start with a, like a, a, a relationship, a friendly relationship first to get going and then after a bit then I may know who she is. I mean I've been praying about it for a long time now but I think sometimes that God has to bring you out, has to work on your life. To have a great relationship and that's why sometimes trials and tribulations come sometimes to make us better to make us stronger believers in Christ do you know what I mean um, so yeah but um, I've always been a person that, you know, I don't know what to do in life, you know, what shall I do, what I'm actually good at. Um, I'm having a bit of a problem with my laptop actually at the moment. Got a virus in, can't seem to shift it. Um, and these viruses are a pl flipping nightmare sometimes. Um, you know, I use an antivirus, found a virus can't seem to get rid of it and then I use another program that can't seem to get rid of it boot your laptop up on restart booted it up and still can't seem to get rid of it and this virus is a very I looked it up I forgot what it's called now but it's a severe one and what it does you've got to keep this virus which is hidden somewhere in my laptop keeps multiplying all these other viruses and uh, pop-ups a lot and I just pray right now because I've been a bit stressed with this that Lord God I pray that I will get my laptop fixed 100% I've got to do my bit as well I've got to step out as well Lord Lord God I want you to help me to repair my laptop in Jesus mighty name I want to get it fixed Lord give me time 
so I can do it. And give me peace, Lord, to do that job. And I will keep you updated because I've just prayed right there. And God always answers prayer. You know, it's an absolute, God's amazing sometimes. I went to the cinema the other week, just over a week ago, and usually I've struggled getting a parking place because there's been a few things going off and cause I've been going round and round. But on this occasion, I said to God, God, I do not want to be stressed like last time. I pray, Lord, for a parking place. Straight away, um, I got a parking place. I went into the car park and straight away this van what was parked up, lights just came on, um, the amber lights as though somebody pressed you know button on the key for it to unlock and then I looked in my mirror and this couple walking towards the van so I reversed a bit and there were about five or six cars behind me all waiting trying to get a parking place that van got out, we were reversed and I got into the parking spot and that, do you know something, that's happened before and some the, the times when I have forgotten about praying about stuff like that um, there has been times when I've got a parking place quick and easy, don't get me wrong without praying that's happened as well but there's been but when we pray to God first that's the guarantee that's the supernatural guarantee we can pray for little things Lord God I pray it's mon it's well early Tuesday now I pray Lord God that this day will be a fantastic day I will not be stressed um, I will have peace and it will be a great day. It will be a great day Wednesday. I will not be tired. And a great day th In fact, Lord God, I pray for a fantastic week. And I pray, Lord, for great dreams, visions as well. Yeah, I just thought of um, mentioning a few things. And also, I did actually fall out with somebody from church but I was like already kind of gave him a warning beware of September and then that happened but um, I do feel sorry for the certain individual but um, it rings me up telling me what I should do like pick him up see him we will go some you know which I don't mind at all arranging things myself but I don't like other people doing that for me and me then feeling guilty because this individual does actually make you feel guilty if you don't um, respond to him straight away um, so then I thought Well, I've forgiven him, but on a certain day, he said that he was go. I'll kill you, but I don't think he actually meant it, because um, I raised the volume up and I told him off. I did actually upload a video about this, but I deleted it due to Data Protection Act. Um, I said one or two things on that video, which I don't think I should have mentioned um, so I deleted that but um, I thought I'd just bring it up again um, he's a good bloke but um, he's, he's got a few anxiety problems himself and I pray Lord that um, you will get him people who's similar to himself who's stuck in a flat 
Give him more friends, Lord, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. So I've just prayed for that. And mark my words, that will happen. You will begin to get other friends. Um, there were quite a few things to say. I haven't done a video for a while. Um, obviously, I mean, I had cold, and then I had the shingles, um, which two individuals actually said it's caused by stress. You know, chicken pots, everybody gets them when they're a toddler, or well, when they're about five or six or whatever. Can't remember year when I got them, and um, that virus sticks into your spine, stays into your spine, and then I'm. Um, Later on in life, obviously I was stressed and came back, and then that's what they are basically. They're called shingles, and um, some people say that they can be very painful. But I mean, my mum's had them, and she said she was absolutely in agony, complete agony, when she had them. Actually, I pray for my mum because um, she's got an aortic hernia, which I've mentioned loads of times. And she's got fear of having the camera down her, her throat. And I wrote a letter and I prayed for her. And um, it, it was a lot better. And I believe that God did a healing right there. But I'm just, I'm still wondering why God hasn't healed her 100%. It is a lot better than what it used to be. She used to struggle nearly every day at you know, in September and well, parts of October and August, you know, really bad, severe. But she's too scared to go to the doctor. So she did go to the doctors. She doesn't want the camera down, and the GP said, uh, you know, you've got to, you've got to have it, it you know, as um, soon as possible. So just pray right now. I want people to pray with me also. That Lord God, I pray for my mum about this hiatus hernia. I pray that you will heal her 100%. Heal her, Lord Jesus, 100% of this hiatus hernia. I pray for my dad as well, feeling rough. I've mentioned it before, I suppose. Now and again, people might get bored of me mentioning similar things. Oh, no, always mentioning his mum again or his dad. But really, it's a call for you guys to pray as well. Um, I pray, Lord Jesus, that my dad will be totally healed from all kinds of diseases. I'm my mum with his hiatus hernia and headaches. She's always suffered with headaches. I pray in the name of Jesus. Sometimes there's nothing worse than... Um, a severe headache. I had one the other night. I had a few um, alcoholic drinks. Um, I didn't go overboard. And I got this severe headache which couldn't seem to shift. And then I still had it the next day. Um, right up towards tea time. And it began to go off. But if anybody's got an headache, I recommend a can of, a couple of cans of Tango or Fanta. Um, honest, it's worked with me before. I did actually take tablets as well. I took, um, well, took Cocodamol, no effects, and then I took some Nurofen um, the next day, and um, went off eventually. But um. I've, I've read it before that orange juice um, can take an headache off. I mean, I've tried orange juice before, but Fanta and Tango um, seems to clear it quite quick. Probably about 40 minutes after you've subbed a can. <coughs> um, so I want people to try that. You know. Um, I think... Did I pray to God about my headache? I'm sure I did. I must have done. 
but if it's self-inflicted, you see, I think that's even harder sometimes. Um, to for, for the healing process to work. I mean, God can do all sorts, can't he? Um, he is an amazing God. Um, I just pray that everybody will have a fantastic November and it's only a few weeks till December and then Christmas the new year it's not long is it ladies and gentlemen to 2015 so I'm gonna say it right now that I hope that everybody will have a fantastic December and a great year for everybody I pray for blessings to come whoever's watching I pray for the blessings of God to touch everybody's lives. Thank you, everybody, who has watched this video from the beginning to the end. Not exactly sure how... I'll have to go on my statistics again. Oh, yeah, and by the way, um, I did a video at the beginning of the year, I think, and I says... Well, I can't remember when it was, actually. And I had something like... It was about even 50-50 with male and female viewers watching. Well, unfortunately, well, I don't know. Since I mentioned that, well, I don't know if it's because that I mentioned it. In the last, um, well, about two or three months when I did my um, statistics and that, the female viewers dropped significantly dropped so I must have done a few videos which females might, may not have liked and they might have thought well, I'm not watching any of his anymore because at first I thought wow about 50% men male and f about 50% female like half and half you know my statistics <laughs> But I think I did a video about praying for soft porn women and that, and um, a lot of women may have gone off my channel, you know, I saw a few unsubscribed to me. Fine. I'm not, it doesn't bother me. Fine. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, Northern Hero is on the rise. This is not the end for this channel. At the moment, anyway. There are better things to come. I've just had a right strong thought in my mind of somebody at work with suicide, depression or something. Oof! I know it is, but I'm not saying no. But I just had that really strong. That somebody at work, the Lord God, I pray for that person. Lift that person up. And I pray, Lord God, for that spirit of suicide in that person. Oof. I feel that really strong, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not exactly sure if I should say that person's name or what. Now I'm, I'm going to leave it to I'm going to leave it I'm going to leave it to you guys to pray. Um, now I got that really strong and powerful just then, um, and God is showing me things. Is it up to me to go up to that person and say, "Excuse me"? I don't I don't know. I'm not very good at doing stuff like that. Maybe I should, but there's somebody I. I where I work at, the spirit of suicide, thinking about suicide, it's just come, out, come on me, extremely strong, I know who it is, God's just shown me a vision of who it is, I've seen the person, and I'm going to tell my dad tomorrow, 
and I know that he's going to get a verification, he'll get a witness straight away if it's from God, because that's how God works. It's an amazing gift what my dad has, even though my dad's not well, but um, when I tell my dad, um, in fact, what I might do is, I might, just in case if there's any viewers who's feeling a bit, who, who may not believe me, I re might record my dad. My dad's voice, and then um, I could put another video together <coughs> that you know. Um, so, Lord God, I pray for that person. I pray, Lord, that that person will not, um, he will not kill himself. Um, I pray, Lord that you will give that person peace but also most importantly the gospel of Jesus onto that person's life protect that person Lord because sometimes in work we don't know what other people are going through you know Christians sometimes we should be thinking you know, nothing can harm us, but sometimes it does. But really, non-Christian people go through much, much worse things. Um, <clears throat> so I just pray for that person who I've had a strong vision for that God will rescue. Right now, Lord God, I pray for a dream that you will tell that person. Um, show that person the truth and the way. And for that person not to do anything silly. Oh man. I want people to pray about that as well. Pray about that situation. And um, if you get any visions, prophetic words or whatever. I want you to send them to me. Put a comment or even better. You, you know, you could even private message me as well on YouTube or even Google Plus because Google Plus is connected as well um, so it's amazing that was amazing and I know now I'm beginning to understand when God speaks or gives you a strong thought that I know that it is from God um, it comes spontaneous now in September, I do apologise because I, I reckon though that I may have been wrong with something when I said I feel as though that a lot of bad things are going to happen in September. It could have been a be the beginning of something, don't get me wrong, it could have been, but um, um, we are all on that learning path, ladies and gentlemen, with God and with Jesus. And... Um, Sometimes we have to ask for forgiveness, so ask for forgiveness right now. Um, if anybody's watching and who remembers that video and who may still be watching, um, number one, I'm not a false prophet. Um, I did say it was a strong thought, um, but it came on me strong. And what I've just mentioned a bit ago also came on me very strong but in some sort of a different way and I think what may have caused that September thing although partly it was right because it was the month when me and somebody else fell out that month a Christian guy and I told him to be aware in August be aware of September and isn't that strange and I think perhaps it was something like that to begin with but with my own thoughts what said be aware of September I was probably visualising stuff which I shouldn't shouldn't have been visualising and perhaps thinking that this is from God. However, the Ebola crisis um, did kick off in a big way in September. Well, it's been going for quite a few months before that, but I think in September it was quite big. But um, I don't think that's a massive threat anymore. There's only certain parts of Africa, ladies and gentlemen, um, that I've had 
a bowler. Do you know what I mean? Look it up on the internet. You've got it, haven't you? Look it up. But, I mean, it, it, it is a, a big nasty thing what's happened. Don't get me wrong. This is a bowler virus. Um, but um, as Christians, we will stay strong and we will pray for our country and the rest of the world. All these places with of famines and that. Now I just pray, Lord God, that there will not be any famines on the planet soon. I mean, that might be a good way to pray, but it does say in the Bible that there will be famines and that pestilences and stuff. So, I just pray that they will not have any more kids and stuff. People who, who are extremely poor in these countries. We're rich compared to some of them lot in Ethiopia and Sudan and, and that. It's a massive shame. God bless and goodbye. I'm Northern Hero and I will see you another time.